prepare for the TOEFL listening section, with this sample lecture on the different types of microorganisms. Listen to the lecture, answer some questions about it, then check your answers. If necessary, review the lecture to confirm your understanding. Subscribe for more practice lectures on a wide range of academic topics covered in college and university classes. Today, we're diving into the microbial world, a fascinating place filled with tiny creatures that quietly shape our planet's ecosystems and keep things running smoothly. So let's explore the diverse types of microorganisms, learn about their roles in the environment, and understand why they're so essential for life as we know it. Microorganisms, or microbes, are microscopic organisms that include bacteria, archaea, fungi, protists, and viruses. Despite their small size, these tiny organisms wield immense power and influence over the biosphere, participating in essential ecological processes such as nutrient cycling, decomposition, and symbiotic relationships. Let's begin by exploring the staggering diversity of microorganisms. From the depths of the ocean floor to the soil beneath our feet, microbes inhabit virtually every environment on Earth, adapting to extreme conditions such as high temperatures, acidity, and pressure. In fact, it's estimated that a single teaspoon of soil contains billions of microbial cells, representing thousands of different species. One of the most intriguing aspects of microbial ecology is the concept of microbial communities, complex networks of interacting microorganisms that inhabit a particular environment. These communities can exhibit remarkable resilience and adaptability, responding to environmental changes and forming symbiotic relationships with other organisms. Microbes also play vital roles in nutrient cycling and biogeochemical processes. For example, certain bacteria and fungi are responsible for breaking down organic matter through the process of decomposition, releasing essential nutrients such as carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus back into the ecosystem. Additionally, nitrogen-fixing bacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into a form usable by plants, facilitating plant growth and productivity. Furthermore, Microbes are invaluable allies in various industries, including agriculture, biotechnology, and medicine. In agriculture, beneficial soil bacteria and fungi form symbiotic relationships with plants, enhancing nutrient uptake and promoting crop health. In biotechnology, genetically engineered microorganisms are used to produce pharmaceuticals, biofuels, and industrial enzymes. In medicine, probiotics and antimicrobial agents derived from microorganisms are used to treat infections and improve human health. The microbial world represents a vast and diverse ecosystem that underpins the functioning of our planet and holds immense potential for scientific discovery and innovation. By studying and understanding microorganisms, we gain insights into fundamental biological processes, ecosystem dynamics, and the interconnectedness of life on Earth. As we continue to explore this invisible universe beneath our feet, let us marvel at the wonders of the microbial world and appreciate the profound impact of these tiny yet mighty organisms on our lives. One, what is the primary goal of the lecture? Two, which of the following is not mentioned as a type of microorganism in the lecture? Three, based on the information provided in the lecture, what can be inferred about the relationship between microorganisms and the biosphere? Four, what is the function of probiotics mentioned in the lecture?
5. According to the lecture, which industry benefits from genetically engineered microorganisms? Six, based on the information provided in the lecture, what can be inferred about the adaptability of microorganisms? How did it go? Were you able to answer the questions correctly? Share your score in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice with lectures.